Hello and welcome to another HDcast. I'm your host, Butch Hill, and I'm sitting with Dave Willis. Dave's with CRW. And, uh, and by the way, thanks for being part of this. We're here at HDAW. We're sitting in the trade show. It's 2023. And uh, Dave, one of, the, one of the things I want to talk to you about is a year ago we were sitting in here doing this, and uh, it was hard to get parts. I mean, there was 200 vessels probably or more sitting out in the ocean, and uh, it was just crazy. What's, what's going on with that? I think they're still there. <laughs> <laughs> so, Dave, the point that I'm trying to drive here is, you know, because you were everybody really in the industry was going through that situation, it made you have to look at other vendors supplying you the different types of parts. So how has that affected how you go to business? I think, you know, I, I think it was Nietzsche that said that which doesn't kill you makes you stronger. You wind up focusing on what you can change. And if you don't have product A, then don't sell product A, sell what's on the shelf. And it, forces, it forced our salesmen to expand their horizons as to what they know and what they can sell, which is a good thing. I mean, we've got over 240 different product lines and we were only concentrating on maybe 10 or 20, you know, 20% yeah. is 80%. It forced them to go out and maybe get out of their comfort zone and sell product that they otherwise wouldn't. And that's a good thing. They all of a sudden are a little more attuned to the inventory so that they have what's on the shelf. They go, they say, oh, I got this, I'll go out and sell it today. So, and for those vendors that absolutely couldn't, then you open your eyes and say, well, if, if vendor A can't sell, then I'm gonna look at vendor B. And our customers do it to us. If we can't supply, next thing you know, they're buying from a competition and it gives them a way in. Well, that's what we do. We find somebody right. that can supply us product that we need and maybe we find out that it was better than what we had. Possibility. And so it's a good thing. I mean, competition, it's ever changing. Anybody that goes, I wish it was the old way, that's not, the good companies can roll with the punches and move with the, with the trends and you just have to do it. Our company's been around since 1850 and there's been a lot of change since 1850. Wow, so, you're just getting started. Yeah. <laughs> 1850. So 1850. Wow, I did not know that. So, one of my favorite stories was uh, John McClements, who worked for my great grandfather uh, at R.W. Norris and Sons, went to him and said, You know, I think this, this automobile is going to overtake the horse and buggy. And my grandfather, in his infinite wisdom, great grandfather, said, No, it won't, never will. And McClements left and started Carolina Rim and Wheel going. R.W. Norris might not be around for too long. Yeah, I'll be darned. So, but it just goes to show you, wow. you know, you move change. with the industry, it it's change, and you yeah. got to move with the change. And yeah, absolutely. That's, so, so what about new. what about some of those vendors that you've been, you know, obviously you've been around a long time. So let's say it's a vendor you've been dealing business with for 30 years. Yeah. And all of a sudden they're in this problem of trying to get you product. Uh, is there any animosity yeah. with those vendors coming back after this problem? I, you know, I think a lot of it, you, you can sympathize with them. You really can, because if their container is sitting offshore and can't get in, it's not their fault. Right. And we had one, we used to buy a lot of automotive rotors. And when I called wondering where it was, they said, well, the boat sank. <laughs> and oh, sure nice. enough, nice. my order sank in the Pacific Ocean. So you, you, you can't, I don't get angry or take it personally. But you can't just sit there and go, well, it's too bad. You got to move. You got to find out how to service your customer because if you don't move, the customer will. Right. So you just have to be open. Then you start calling your friends in the industry. Where do you get it? What do you get? Do you think they'll sell me? And that's the beauty of this industry is I've got friends on both sides in HDA and in Vipar, and they more than willing to give advice and say, yeah, I'll support you. I think they, they would take you in a heartbeat. Yeah. And, and that's great. It's it's an industry unlike any other where you can call your competition and they'd be more than happy, more than happy to help. To help yeah. And that's neat. Yeah, it is a great industry. Well, I want to thank you for being a part of HDCast. Thank you. It's always good to see you. He's always, always a uh, pleasure. We always try to grab uh, Dave anytime we see him at a, at, at a show and, give, and chat with him, and especially on HDCast. And for you, thank you for tuning in to HDCast, and we'll see you on another episode.